middle of end of October. It's 100 uh, degrees. Yeah, welcome Nuts. to Arizona. And welcome to the JR Garage. Nice. And, and uh, yes, yeah, spoiler alert, I'm totally trying to work out a trade because I've got a P51. P51? Like You can have the whole garage. Not yeah, I wish. A real one. No. Uh, oh. the, the SAL, the kit, oh, okay, two-thirds P51 that thing okay. that I'd love to trade out. The Aztec, the Blue Tarp Special, I'd love to trade out. Mm. Uh, and if I find that family hauler, there has been some talk, which I I can't bring myself to say it, so I'm not going to say it. But, uh, yeah, so I, we'd, we'd love to see if we can work out a deal with something in here. We are always up. Oh, All right. Yeah. Got to keep interrupting. Nice Gulf stream. We're trying to get on that level. That's, anyway, I'd be okay with that. We're always willing to wheel and deal. So if Holy there's a, moly. There's you a got deal Ferraris and Porsches and Bentleys and Mercedes and more Porsches and more Ferraris and yeah. Maseratis and. Geez, if we knew we were having company, we would have cleaned up a little bit. You were just in Evergreen, Oregon, and Palm yeah. Springs. And yeah. Now you're here in Scottsdale. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah. Oh, Lamborghini back there. Yeah. Okay. Got to have a little. So, all right, well, hold on a second. How old are you guys? I uh, 24, 26. Yeah. Okay, so how, how the heck? 26 and a 24 year old like drugs? Yeah. <laughs> People, it's either got to be a billionaire dad or drugs, one of the two. Yeah. And uh, it's neither of those. Uh, yeah, we, we, we've been doing it for the long haul now since. We were about this tall. We've been interested in business and wheeling and dealing and making money. money. In fact, our, in first, fact, little our little first little business, business like that, that coin business that we were talking to you about, we are we're professional numismatists. And for those who... Numi what? Nu numismatist. Numismatics. And you... Uh, we'll put up on the screen. Numis in period. Numismatics is the industry. We are numismatists, and we buy and sell rare coins and currency and gold and silver. That makes sense. Yeah, you would I mean, think yeah, that makes it. That's a weird name it, for it. It's very niche. It's very odd. Um, uh, it's usually full of people. How in their the heck <laughs> did like teenagers get involved with selling rare coins? Yeah, pe people always ask that because when you think of like coins, you usually think of maybe grandpa has a coin collection, not you know kids in their teenage years wheeling and dealing. So, so it was an established industry, but. Being young, doing it a little bit differently, bringing it online, utilizing all sorts of online resources and databases for the information instead of dusty books from the library. We were able to find our, uh, our own little zone in it and we ran with it. And that was ever since 2008 when the America the Beautiful Quarters came out in 09 and the Territory Quarters and the new pennies in 2009, bicentennial of Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. That, so that was it. We, we started with just collecting, and then we realized there was money to, be, money to be made with the flips. And yeah, our first year in business, I'm 10 years old, 12 years old. We, we cleared like $35,000 in sales in <laughs> that 2009. Is okay, that's, yeah, so then we, that's, pennies. that's pretty awesome. And then we, we, we knew we were onto something. But um, Gosh, yeah, I don't know. We should probably talk about nuts. it more because everyone's like, you should have a coin YouTube channel. And I think that would be cool, but. Uh, I don't know. We just think it's kind of like nerdy, and it might nobody. You nobody can would have watch. a second channel where you collect stamps. <laughs> yeah. yeah, stamps. Stamps have really kind of oh died off, and I, co coin collecting uh, wait, might also. That was a joke. The fact that you knew the value of the market on the stamps. Oh yeah, stamp. That, okay. S stamp industry is not good, and let's just hope the coin industry doesn't go that way, or else we might have to sell some cars. But no, just kidding. From there, we've taken some profits and put them, invested them in cars, and now airplanes, and then we've made some money flipping them. And now we just keep flipping our way up in life, so. Yes, I know I'm cutting the video in a really weird spot. However, Jeffrey and Christian, they really got me thinking. So as soon as I got home, I went and dug through and found these old coins and I, I got to check them out because I can't believe that that's kind of how they made all their money from 10 and 12 years old. It's nuts. You'll hear a little bit more about that in just a second, but let me show you what I found here. Oh, by the way, you know, let me just be, do the clarification, do not take any financial advice. For me, that's for the professionals. And this video, thank you Legacy Precious Metals for being those professionals that will tell you a lot more about investing in real stuff. Silver, gold, use your IRA retirement account, especially when the world has gone absolutely flipping nuts and you know the prices of everything has gone up insanely. So give them a call, 866-916. 3506 or check out their brand new website 
at LegacyPMInvestments.com. Let's check this out. And I've got Grizzly here. I'm going to give him a pop quiz on some of this stuff. It's going to be awesome. What better place to check out silver and gold stuff than in the Elvis jet that has gold in accents in the interior? Watch out for the bar. There it is. Oh. We're dropping money. It's like money. Sonic the Hedgehog. So you'll notice the sound. This is a silver quarter from 1959. Listen to the sound. All right, come here. I'm going to drop it. Yeah, zoom in. Listen to how different it sounds. Can you hear the difference? Mm -hmm. It has a tink, tink. That's, a, that's silver in that. See? Gold. <laughs> Legacy precious metals. OK. All right, Grizzly. I've got a test for you. These are both 1982 pennies. The ones on top are made with copper. The ones on bottom are made with zinc. Ironically, did you know that this is worth more recycled as copper than it is as a penny? Because that's how much our currencies have deflated in value. Okay, so I've got some currencies from around the world and I want you to guess what their value is. And we're gonna start with 5,000 thousand won from Korea. How much do you think that is? Go ahead and put in the comments section your guess as well. This will be fun. Uh, I'm going to say about five bucks. Last night on whatever I recorded this, three dollars and 83 cents. So pretty, pretty close. Five thousand won. All right. So then we have, uh, let's see, these are the Okay, well, let's say uh, 200 Mexican pesos. 50 cents? About 10 bucks. 200. So there you go. How about 100, uh, where is this? Dominican Republic pesos. Yeah. About five bucks? A buck 76. So isn't it for 100 things okay and now we got the japanese i forget what this thing's called uh centavos it's, it's a japanese currency i forget what it's called exactly 50 of them whatever that is 30 bucks 33 cents <laughs> isn't that insane 33 cents because this is paper just like our own currency, it's not backed by anything anymore since 1972. And Nixon said, no, we don't need the gold standard anymore. And inflation has gone flipping nuts ever since. So every single day, our paper money becomes less and less valuable. That's why I invest in things I can see, touch, and feel. Okay, we're not done. Which leads me to this. This is a silver quarter. How much do you think it's worth? $25. Not too far off. So silver right now, just for reference, is about $24 an ounce for just the melted silver price. So this being a quarter, roughly a quarter of that, it's worth $9 to $10, depending on its condition. So that's pretty good. You got a quarter because of the precious metal that's in it. It's not worth just $0.25. Cents. It's actually worth $9. So that's good. Now, silver dollar. One ounce silver dollar. Well, that's $25. There you go. Pretty, yeah, pretty close. 30 bucks. So $1 because of inflation, it's now worth 30 bucks, which is crazy. So that's why go to Legacy Precious Metals. Talk to them, people. They're awesome. You can use your retirement account. You can invest in either the paper stuff or there, or you can buy the physical stuff, have it shipped directly to your house. I invest in uh, things I can touch, see, feel, you know, the precious metals, gold, silver, lead, and brass. You know what I'm saying. All right, so give them a call, 866-916-3506. That's my special phone number so they know that you came from Jimmy's World. Or go to their website, LegacyPMInvestments.com. The link is in the description below. Tell them Jimmy sent you. Ask them about precious metals. Now is a great time. We're also coming up on an election year, so the whole world is going to go flipping nuts because, let's face it, we're seeing some things that have never happened in U.S. history. I don't want to get political on you. Just saying, 
best to you know plan for the worst but hope for the best and I sleep really good at night knowing that no matter what happens to our paper money we have real stuff that will transfer and do whatever to no matter what the currency in the world is doing. So thank you so much. Uh, let's let's get back to the action in Arizona. Yeah, here we are. Uh, so, so which one was the first one that you put in here? Like of these, how which one's the one that you've had in your collection the longest? Uh, oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Ferrari yeah. F430. Okay. Uh, you might have to walk this way. Uh, okay. We we have them so jam packed in here. There's a little goat trail. You know, those you are li those are the problems in life you want. Yes. If yes. I'm honest. <laughs> So this one's really cool because... Okay, uh, and you've discovered the Montana permanent plate? Uh, well, it's nice because we thing. actually have a place up in Montana. And we, we take a ton of these cars to Montana on road trips and things. So, uh, okay. yeah, we, we do it legally. <laughs> Ferrari um, F430. Four, uh, yep, yep. and yep. Uh, look, look at the transmission in the middle there. Oh, and it's a gated transmission. Yeah. Okay, not going to lie. That's what makes so it... So how old were you guys when you got this one? Oh, geez, this was... This uh, was literally our... Second big supercar purchase and our first project. This project. This was a project car. Yeah. It's salvage. Right, well, it was salvage. It's rebuilt now. Really? Yep. And yep. we rebuilt it. All so ourselves. like a wreck, flood. Wrecked. It was rear-ended. Okay. It, but you, you wouldn't even be able to tell. Yeah. I, I, it looks. It was super. It was. It was kind of crazy. It was at the dealership getting some work done, and the guy on the test drive got rear-ended. Yep, so imagine calling the customer saying, hey, uh, we, we wrecked your car by accident. So it was just the bumper diffuser exhaust. We wanted to make it loud anyway, so we put on the exhaust. Is the battery good? Can we start it? Because it, the, the window tipped down. It, we got to start this thing up. All right, I'm game. This is the loudest car you'll probably ever hear. So Fantastic. Get your ears ready. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so it was. Uh, we bought it for like fifty, fifty something thousand dollars for a Ferrari. Wait, what year was this? Two, this is two thousand five. We bought it in two thousand seventeen. Yeah, our okay. first, our first Ferrari we bought in two thousand sixteen. I think I was like sixteen years old. He was eighteen years old. <laughs> That's freaking nuts. <laughs> yeah, sixteen-year-old awesome. Ferrari. We flipped it. We made money. On yeah. The first ever Ferrari. Yeah, All we, right. we so did make money. So stand back there and. All right, let's, I guess, hope, um, let's hope the battery's good. That's the yeah. other problem. It is, it, yeah. Having we, batteries. We hope that, not the click, click, clicky. All right. Oh gosh. We need the fog to wake the battery up. It's not on the key ring. Well, try, see if it's at 50%. That ain't going to work. Dead. Dang it. All right, hang on. We're not totally dead. We have this cool new battery. It's a lithium ion battery. Okay. And once it hits 60% charge or something like that, it turns itself, it puts itself to sleep so that it won't continue to drain and die. And then there's a key fob that wakes the battery back up with 60% light. What? So you can That was only 3,000 RPM. So I know, I was what... like, it's too cold. Don't go real crazy <laughs> with it. Yeah, no, it's just baby revs. But that's, uh, you know, it redlines 8,500 RPM. So you, you can that imagine what that would be like. <laughs> um, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. We got the Porsche with America shoved in it. Um, yeah. That... Old 914 up there. The Lamborghini is the next rebuild. Uh, we can look at that real quick. So did you to. guys do mostly like finding wrecked ones and then fixing them? Yeah, or, you know. it, it, it all depends. Wherever there's money to be made. So this was wrecked, this was wrecked, but you know that's never wrecked, that was never wrecked, that was never wrecked, that was never wrecked. It just all, de all depends. But it always has a weird story. We're like Ed Bullion, you know. It's, it's always got a story, that's for sure. Yeah. Whether it's wrecked or not. But this one. Oh yeah, you can still see. Uh, yeah, we got to fix some it. Some damage up front. If any, if any of your viewers have parts for a first gen oh. Lamborghini Gallardo, please. Um, we need parts, as you can see. <laughs> it's, it's, It'll this, buff out. This thing's been sitting here just waiting for parts, but how do you find hood, fenders, front, radiator supports? So we need a whole parts car, auto ideally. Auto zone, man. Yeah, <laughs> hey, auto zone. We got a Lamborghini. Got a radiator for a Gallardo. Uh, so yeah, the parts are just impossible it, though, to find. Because it is a twin turbo. Mm-hmm. You got to check D10 back here. 
factory yeah. twin? Can yeah. we see Oh, okay. It? So. Ah, uh, yes, you can see them in there a little bit. Okay, so twin turbo V10. Yes. You can see all the shiny aluminum, yep. So uh, should, should be good for about 800 horsepower. Our first twin turbo Lamborghini Gallardo, though, we'll have to send you a picture of it. It's this beautiful Verde Ithaca green. We bought that one crashed for super cheap, and uh, it had up to, at, at one point, that car had 2,200 horsepower. Yeah. How do you drive something like that? Oh, it's pretty terrifying. You, oh. you turn it down all the way. So it had oh, so only- Oh, you had some boost control in yes, there. Yes, it had okay. only 1,000 horsepower when we were driving still, it. still, that terrifying. is terrifying to yeah. drive. Yeah. That's how the previous owner crashed it. Uh, yeah, that, that's, I can That's why I we got imagine. it crashed. But, but like that car, for instance, we, we, that was our second Lamborghini. And while owning it, we made $75,000 flipping the car. Holy crap. Yeah, so it's like. It was exactly like this one. That's why we're like, we're doing it all over Clean again. title Deja still? Vu. No, that one, that one went rebuilt because of the salvage. Yeah. But, it's, uh, it had a rebuilt title and you still made that money yeah, off of it? Yeah, we profited 75,000 bucks. Yeah. So just. Same exact thing as this. Hit I am definitely in the right. wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be Holy in the supercar flipping crap. business. Apparently. But uh, yeah, it's a. Goes the show. I don't know. We just buy what we can make money on and have fun with in the meantime and make cool content with. So this will be fun for content. Uh, but yeah, what make else? money by selling yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back on track. Which car do you want here? Come on. I mean, a convertible Porsche you know, 996, right? Right. That's always a good yeah, car. Yeah, and it got a stick in the middle. I call that my millennial anti-theft device. Uh -huh. <laughs> Although I'm right. surprised you guys, being as young as you are, a gated uh, gearbox and right drive it great. all right so what's the story on this one let's work out a deal what do we got what do we got here uh no story it's great title. no zero story. story after all the stories with this they have every car has a story well right. and yeah no so i don't i don't know who the previous owner was or what the deal was we bought it from it was it was a charity donated car so we just bought it because it was a good deal and uh it cleaned right up i mean there's nothing wrong with it rich people donating their portions they need so, a tax write-off i year. guess so yeah somebody wanted the tax write-off so we bought it and uh, it's good to go now. So yeah. if you want it, 18,000 18, bucks. Perfect 996. Really? Yeah. Let me tell you, 100,000 miles, fresh suspension. It's, it's Does they have, don't, because uh, I don't really know a whole lot about Porsches. I make a terrible sell, a buyer, because I'm like, hey, I'm an idiot. What do you I, got? I know what you're going to say. The that, bearing, the I, it's not an IMF. It that's monetary fun. That's different. <laughs> it's IMS. A, IMS. Yes. yes. Um, so this one is almost immune from that problem. This one's a 99. In the year 2000, about, they went to the single row IMS. This has a dual row IMS. So it has like twice as much IMSs. I don't even and, know what uh, that is. <laughs> it's an intermediary shaft or something. Wrong. Yeah, exactly. Intermediate shaft. Yes. So point is, this engine is not going to grenade itself. The other ones probably will. So 2000... So like whatever, 2005 or five. Yeah. That's those had a single window. shaft. Single. And those were the bad ones. Yes. Yeah, so it went from two small ones to one small one. Okay. And then after 2005, they went to just one big one, which also kind of solved the problem, but not fully. Those gotcha. still blow up. But okay. this one's very robust. 99 is the year you want for these 911s, in my opinion. And that's uh, a great car. Come so on. Which ones? Because I got a guy trying to trade me that two 996s, hard tops. Mm -hmm. One's a stick, one's an automatic. Right. right. Dark blue, and the other one's black. Right. Both have, you know, 100 and we'll call it 20, 130,000 miles on them. Yep. Yeah. They're frankly not worth a whole lot. Yeah. You know, one's worth probably 10 to 12. The other one's probably worth 15 to 18, maybe. Yeah, something That's like that. Right. They're usually sub 20. Yeah. 1999. Good. Is one of them. I even put in there. I was like, hey, we'll trade for some gold bars, cash cars whatever <laughs> yeah. okay black one is a 2000 six okay. speed so that might or might not have the single row <clears throat> okay first year fly-by-wire gas pedal mm -hmm. okay the ims was replaced okay and it has i guess the dude blew up the engine it's got a 51,000 mile engine in it and the blue one is a 99 sunroof coupe yeah. automatic car yeah okay yeah, yeah. blue you could scoop the package for 25, you'd probably be doing okay. Probably be doing 25 or 30, that'd be a pretty good deal. But come money. on, trade with us. That's what yeah. I, I mean, trade for those 996s. Two 996s. Yeah, well, I don't have, what am I gonna do with those things? That's the thing, right? Oh, okay, so you guys be open 
We, okay, well, this one is definitely up for trading. Yeah, or, or the viewers, comment down below. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You guys You got plenty know. of airplanes. You can we trade got, for any of these. So the, the blue and white, the blue tarp special, mm -hmm. the one engine's rebuilt, field rebuilt, so it's not technically a, to zero time, so it's technically still on the clock. So they're both, by the books, high time engines. Mm -hmm. Once we get that one in annual and everything, I figure that one will be worth right about 75 the way it sits, mm -hmm. just somewhere in that 65 to 75 because mm -hmm. the avionics are still a little older in it. Right. Um, that, and, gives, that gives you a lot of trading power. Yeah. Yeah. And then that mm. um, the Mustang, the way it sits right now, realistically, is 35,000. Mm. 35. If, well, because I haven't went through and done everything, and it doesn't even have radios in it. They have a center stack. The guy took all the radios out of it. So there's no radios in it whatsoever. So uh. if you put that in there, and if you got everything flying, and it was like good to go, then yeah, you're probably talking 50 to 75,000 on that one, right? Mm. But 35 the way it sits right now because right. it still needs a condition inspection and i assume it's going to just from sitting for the last four years it's probably going to need some work all right then how about the bentley as it sits right now Ooh. 35 yeah. grand straight uh, across uh, trade this uh, is a super sport a project for a project a project for a project okay, one, one clean fun or thing. dirty title it's got uh yeah salvage but yeah. you know okay. i never heard anyone all right so one thing that's cool about this, look at the size of the brakes. So these are straight oh, off Lord. a Bugatti Veyron. They took the Bugatti Veyron brakes and put it on this car. It's the biggest factory carbon ceramic brake setup ever put on a car. Yeah, no kidding. And if you got the sport seat option, you could have had seats out of a Bugatti. Unfortunately, the, those are just Bentley seats. These are the, okay, these are the comfort seats. Uh, 2011. Okay. And it stickered for like 275,000 bucks. The brakes alone are worth 30,000 bucks. <laughs> We're giving you a deal. Come on, for that, the price of the right. brakes. That's right. What, so what's wrong with this one? Oh, see, Other than he hit a curb. Yeah, that's but all. Hit a curb, but on these, how much? What would High it take curb. to get this one fixed? Probably not too hard. Ten grand, maybe. In, in parts, and I do all the work to it. Mm. Uh, Five grand in parts. You can find used parts. A lot of these <clears> parts are the same. I think this shares everything with a ten thousand dollar flying spur. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. So think about that yeah, one. Think about that. All right. Or if uh, Cayman S, these are always fun. Boy, th this car was a great rebuild on the channel. We thought for sure it had a blown engine. So this is one you guys got and rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <coughs> similar deal. Mechanically rebuilt, I guess we should say. So we thought it had a blown engine. Uh, we were fully convinced in our first video that we bought a turd. And uh, it turns out everybody was in, in the comments saying, no, it's not blown. It's a $50 air oil separator. And we're like, come on, $50 part's going to fix this car that we got for like half price. What do you know? We swapped it in. Gone. Car is perfect now. So we bought it for like eight grand. It's probably worth 25. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Because the previous owner thought it had a blown motor, but it was just a $50 part. These engines are notorious for bore scoring. And so when we got the car, opened the trunk, there's a spark plug and coil pack sitting in the trunk, and we're like, oh, no. That's yeah. never a good sign. No. That's not good. That's why we thought the engine was blown. They were inspecting it for being blown, but no. Yeah. It's good. <clears throat> Put it wow. Back so, uh, yeah, nice Cayman S. You know, if you want a two-seat Porsche. What year is this? 2008. Okay. And so I, I assume this is what you guys do. You'll be selling this one. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. I want to keep it for a little bit because it's a really fun car, but. No, we cannot be keeping any of this. <laughs> I never get to keep it. No, well, sell it. No, number. keep Put it. No. On it. It's like 23,000 bucks. Jeez. Man, we're sitting on, we could free up some capital. I know. I and go know. buy more buffalo coins. Buffalo nickels. Yeah, buffalo nickels. nickels. You can buy a lot of buffalo nickels for that. <laughs> but pe people always ask the most expensive coin we've ever bought. It was a penny. One penny for $10,000. Yep. What? You can put up a picture if you want. It's called a 1793 chain cent. They only made it for a very short period of time. It was the first penny ever made in America. And somebody had the bright idea of putting a chain on it. And everyone's like, that means slavery. We can't have that on the coins. So just one month later, they changed the design, got rid of the chain. So if you have an original chain cent, it's worth huge money, There's huge money. It's supposed to be 13 chain links representing unity of the 13 colonies. But and people didn't quite take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah they cancel culture existed in 1793 as well. So uh, for good reason on that one. So yeah. it's worth a ton of money. The most expensive one sold for $2.5 million. So just imagine that for one penny. Oh, 
So you bought it for yeah. ten grand, and yes. what do you estimate I was its about, value? Or? I was about twelve years old. It was at a coin shop. He had it in the center of his case. I said, "How much for that one?" He goes, uh, "What are you? Why are you, why are you asking, kid? That's like twelve thousand bucks." I go, "Okay, well, how about ten thousand cash? Like all of our money at the time. I'm twelve years old." And he's like, "Yeah, I mean, deal, but if you, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna come up with the money, sure." So went to the bank, came back with ten thousand dollars cash, plopped it on the table, walked away with the coin. And we sold it about a week or two later for fourteen thousand. Yeah, they could not afford to Jeez, hold on to that. Coin still, the four thousand dollar profit in, in a week, or, a week two? or two. Yeah, and a cool story to go with it. Man, chain that, sent. So, so anyway, man. more you know. There's your little tip of the day. I'm sure you have a lot wow. of coin collecting followers out there who nerd this out is like us. Fascinating. Coins, but anyway, and now we just get sidetracked and buy cars. So let's continue. <laughs> um, you little nine fourteen. Yep. Four yep. cylinder pancake engine. Yep, yep, yep. The redhead stepchild of the Porsche lineup, but I think they're cool. We yeah, like them. What can we put this engine into? A little experimental. Yeah, I wonder. Air cooled? No, they, they've never put them. I've never seen a 914 yeah, engine in a plane. They put the Corvair engine in them. Which is a little odd. Yeah, because the belt cylinder. twists whenever they, on the alternator. Right, wow. little, little interesting, but still pretty cool that they can put a car engine and a in a plane. And a lot of Volkswagen engines. Why are there still no LS swapped airplanes? There like, are. Well, I guess there are, but I never see them. The Lance Airs, the Lance Air 4s. There's a standard kit for LS, and all those P51 Mustang uh, oh, kit have, planes are all LS engines. I have seen one not done, but it was supposed to have an LS3. The two-seater that was at the Hondo Airport with that package deal of mine, theirs was a, well, it, it was a small block, big block Chevy, small block. It might not have been an LS, but it was a V8 Chevy. Inch. I don't remember if it was a big block or a small block. That's Chevy. cool. Lightweight aluminum block. Of yeah. LS. That's cool. Neat. All right. That's, that's pretty neat. If we had an LS swapped airplane, that would be pretty dang yeah. cool. Okay. Um, this one, he had a, hawk, hit a rock in the road, uh, put a small little crack in the oil pan, and uh, one oil pan later, good to go. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. This one could be yours, 32 grand. Is it, what is this, a Cayman as well? Uh, a Boxster, because oh, it's Boxster. convertible. But oh, yeah. it only has 18,000 miles on it. It's like a brand new car. Crazy, so. Yeah. 15 grand off just because it had an oil pan replaced. All right, but the star of the and show. And we got the Ferrari over here. And this yes. one has more cylinders, right? Yeah, this is okay. the Daddy V12. We got to do a deal here. So give us some airplanes. And it's gated. And it's gated. This is the car. So they only made 80 of these. Uh, what is it? And brought them to US. Okay. It's okay. a 575 okay. M. It's from 2002. But with the manual, they only brought 80 to the US. So it's extremely rare. One just sold on Bring a Trailer for $400,000 with 19,000 miles. This has 25,000 miles, except it has a rebuild title. OK, wah, so still, wah, you're talking wah. half price, right? Even That's what I figure. I figure we'd be able to get 200, but no takers. Now it's 150, and I think I have a guy wiring the money literally today. That might have been him just calling. Huh, what are the odds? Three minutes ago, he just texted. So sorry, it's sold. No. Congratulations. Oh, okay, I thought you were trying to buy it. I no, no. Sorry. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> now you guys have more money to spend on, yeah. on your on your on your twenty thousand dollar oxygen tanks. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah. All, all the problems we'll go right to the citation. <laughs> well, okay. What was the story with this one though? So you uh, guys bought it like. Yeah, the whole front walk end. Walk us through the story. The whole front end was crunched up pretty good. The guy, uh, the guy was on a rally and kind of flew off the road. He said he was dodging something in the road. Front bumper, front radiator, front oil cooler, front AC condenser. But the headlights survived. The hood survived. It really wasn't that bad. They they were going to fix it. Insurance, but this was June of 2020, right in the beginning of COVID. Ferrari oh. factory, absolutely like shut down. No way to get parts. So they were quoting like six to eight months on some of these parts. And uh, insurance obviously wasn't going to wait that long. So they just totaled the car, wrote him out a $300,000 check, and that's it. He moved on. So we bought it for very cheap because they said it had mechanical damage, which I don't know where they got that from. So nobody wanted to buy it because it wouldn't run, and they said it had mechanical damage. So people thought, like, the engine was cracked or something and from the damage. No, it started right up. So I don't it was like a Copart purchase yeah, or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that the shop that did the initial estimate, didn't they like drain the oil from it? I think it said like no oil on the windshield or something. I Well, the, the oil cooler had a crack in it, so some was leaking oh, out. It yeah. still had oil in it, That's but right. I think they got scared because they're like, oh no, That's what right. if it all leaks <laughs> out? They said don't start on the windshield. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, so we got it for very Less cheap. than 100? Yeah. Like 50 grand type of? Sounds more like it. 
That is fantastic. And so. it cost you what, twenty or so? Yeah, probably some of the parts are pretty expensive. Maybe maybe fifteen grand for all the parts, and then labor probably another fifteen grand or something. Um, but uh, it, it was hard. It took a long time. You know, we bought it in twenty twenty, and we still have it here three years later. So. This one I'm glad we're making a good profit on because we had to hold it for a while and get all the parts and just finding the stuff was really hard. Yeah. On an old Ferrari like this where they only made so and few And what of them. year is this one? 2002. So okay. 24 years old, but we were talking about this earlier, just really rare cars with a smaller buyer pool are tougher to sell. Yeah, you sit on them for a while. Yep. We yep. love a cheap Ferrari like this or, thing. Or, yeah, or the a 911. Yeah. Yeah. Like anyone can, anyone's yeah, gonna any buy of those. That. Boom. Yeah. Uh, and then, oh, you got you oh. got you got the mustache. You got. Oh wait, listen. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? That was totally a Challenger 604. He has no idea. Yeah, I know that engine. <laughs> um, so okay. Then we got Magnum PI back here. Yeah, are you uh, you Tom Selleck? Well, I got a mustache. Yeah, there you go. Well, then you got to get this one. I'm telling you. And you're in Florida. Come and, on. And uh, we were we were at uh, um, the Wizards place, and he got one. Oh, yeah, 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 very similar. Yeah. Set, so like he, almost same year and stuff, carbureted. Yep, and he, yeah. he went through and redid a bunch of stuff. I guess these had, he put fuel injection on his, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he did say yeah. he was going to do that. Yeah. This one's still carbureted, which it sounds cool, and if it works, I guess it works. But, yeah, it's got like four carbs. They're hard to dial in. It's hard to make these things run right. But this one, uh, yeah, this one's nice. We just have to redo the seats because we put a little split in the driver's seat. But aside from that, it's nice. I think it's like 50 grand or something. 50, 55 grand. And how long has it been sitting here? A uh, eh, few months since we shoved it all the way up here. Oh, okay. It runs good. Yeah, not too What'd bad. What'd you guys have to do to this one? Uh, this one we bought, what was the deal with this one? Oh, it had just been sitting forever, uh, sitting for like 15 years. So we had our mechanic go through, do all the belts, do, redo all the carbs, and get everything running, and wiring, and electrical, and just everything, whole nine yards. We bought it from a coin dealer that we work with, and uh, did a little bit of Trading coin dealing, Ferrari dealing. See, that is fantastic. <laughs> Trade some coins for some cars. And then, Jeez, but that Ferrari 355, we bought that one with a blown motor. So it's oh. 25 grand. $25,000 Ferrari, stick, manual transmission. Everyone's like, how do you do that? Well, you had a blown motor. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> so now, we, isn't that the infamous uh, fire catching? It has, yes. It has the yes. habit of bursting in the flames. It, it's sometimes. Black, three, five, five, <laughs> yeah. is more likely to catch on fire. That is so I've heard. Not, that is not the Hoobies Fire 355, but uh, it same model and year and everything. It looks identical. So that oh, one we bought funny. the motor for about 10 grand, and then the labor was about 10 grand. So we're probably in at 45, and it's worth maybe 65 grand or so. Didn't uh, did Tavares buy that car? How much did he pay for a fire damage 355? What yeah. would you rather have, fire damage or blown motor? This was simple enough just to swap yeah. in a motor. Yeah, no yeah. crash damage, no fire history. So, yeah, this That's was easy way to do easy. it. Easy. You just got to yeah. find a motor, which was hard. But we found a challenge motor out of a race car and we put it in. and Even better. Although, you know, it's kind of been ran pretty hard. Probably, yeah. So, then we'll the, see. the connecting rods are probably slightly longer. We'll see. Or All yeah. right. And then you got a, a Maserati. Maserati. <clears throat> which sounds sexy, looks sexy. Uh, and it takes a special person somewhere around Scottsdale, Arizona to, to own these. Yes. A little dirty, but Ferrari derived V8, so it sounds cool and makes good power. But yeah, they they can be mechanically problematic. And you know, knowing that, I don't know why we just bought another Maserati, a very cheap one at that, which you'll see later. Oh, oh we, yeah, they didn't yeah. mention they had a something they needed help with. Yeah, a, a, a $2,800 Maserati. You know, Wait, what could be- like twenty eight hundred dollars. Yes. What could be <laughs> wrong with that? For, has it been twenty eight years yet? No, not quite, but almost. It's been abandoned for a while. What could possibly go wrong? So longer than you guys have even been alive. <laughs> yeah. So I was already in college. That hurts. <laughs> All right, that hurts. So well, I'm sure we're asking for it on that one, but. Oh man. Yeah. Well, that so is. There you go. Cool. Wait, you, there's still one. Oh yeah, the old one. Like what? Cool. I see a classic in the back. Oh yeah. All right, what is the story with that? Jimmy's first car. Let's go check it out. <laughs> hey, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wow, that hurts a little bit right there. Check it out. So we're throwing it back to 1951. Yeah, 51. Okay. Mercedes 220. And Everyone's they have like, it in plastic too. So what? Oh yeah, that's when you know it's good. Um, so 
I'm waiting for the dictator of you know, Cuba yeah. or something like that. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, everybody says, what the heck is this doing in your collection? And Well, it just goes to show we kind of buy anything we can make a buck on, and we thought it was kind of fun and interesting. So they made very, very few of them. <laughs> Talk about rare. This would be it. Uh, long story short, it started life out as a convertible, and in 1951, somebody paid Mercedes. Okay, because I was to, looking, I'm like, this yeah. is a convertible pillar, and right. it's solid here. Yeah, you're so spot on. Weird. You're spot on. So somebody paid the factory to convert the car to a hardtop. They didn't make a hardtop until 1954, but this is a 51. Oh, yeah, because if you look on the shelf on the back, yeah. that would have been the shelf where the top would have sat. Yep, that's weird. That's spot oh, it on. smells like it too. <laughs> right? Yep. It smells like a box of crayons. Yep. Every Mercedes with leather has the same smell. It's like a fresh box of crayons. Right? Isn't it crazy yeah. how some, some cars always have the exact same smell? So anyway, so it's kind of one of a kind. It's the only converted car that I've ever seen online. There was one other one, but it was a prototype, uh, prototype made for the CEO of Mercedes-Benz at the time. That sold for like $400,000 at auction. So I don't know what this one's worth. A regular coupe from 54 and 55 goes for like 150. So I don't know, is this worth what a convertible is worth? Is it what, worth what a coupe is worth? Is it worth what the prototype is worth? I don't know. Well, well how well, long have you had it? A couple of years, I guess. Have you guys ran it through? I mean, you're right next door to Bear Jackson, Scottsdale. I know, we do just need to consign it to auction and be done with it. Well, not even, I mean, okay, the dirty secret with no reserve auction is you actually just buy the car back if it doesn't meet your price. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Could, and then pay, yeah, pay the, but the buyer's premium, that, Never you ideal. Pay, you don't pay the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. You, I don't know. Never yeah. done it. Not sure how it works, but I, yeah. I would hope two guys want to go at it and run it up. But there you go. That's the risk with an auction. It might flop, and then okay. you lose money. So. And you can get somebody on the phone because those are always legit buyers. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, because that's part of that game. So we'll uh, we'll see what we we'll, do, but it's uh, it's in great shape and kind of cool. It drives. It's fun. It's fun to drive around and oh my gosh, the looks. Is that this six thing cylinder? Gets. Yeah, inline six. The first of the inline six is post World War II, since they <coughs> were just rebuilding the factories. Their cars were mainly four cylinders, but this was the first inline six to come back post World War II. But the design is very pre World War II because they had nothing. Their whole country was wiped off the map. So they had to just pull out the old designs from 1939 and pick up where they left off, if that makes sense. That's why it looks super old. That yeah, it's from the 50s, neat. if that makes sense. So there you go. There, there you go. <laughs> uh, I could nerd more, out about more cars. coin. Cars and coins and all day. It's just one of the garages. That's oh. We got the other, and then we got all the outside parking, and then we got our house. <laughs> How much you want to see? <laughs> How many cars do you guys have? Oh god. Do you have any idea? Or it's no. like a range. I there's at least. Last time I counted a couple years ago, it was maybe roughly sixty something. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but. Yeah. Lots well, changed since then, so All right. I, I don't there know. You go. We just scatter them everywhere. We kind of hide them so that the neighbors don't get mad at us. Parking them everywhere. And... Park them in airports and then out back yeah. and then at friends' houses. There, and there. Then... Yeah, we have a bunch at our friends' hey, apartment. Says we can't get around to this project for another six months. We say great. Yeah. Set it in the back. No problem. Yeah, a bunch of cars are at shops and. Oh my goodness. It's bad. That's, that's, that's why we need funny. to get selling and trading. So we're glad you're here to take yeah, some well, bookies yeah. off our hands. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, okay. So <laughs> is this like the ones that are most, you know, your more finished ones? Exactly. Probably. Yeah. yeah. If you want to go see some Not projects. Not worthy of uh, shade. Yeah. Just the nicer stuff in general. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Come on. there what are, what are we looking at it the real star of the show a uh, zodiac 601 xl slsa factory built 
tiny little two seat plane. Tiny little two seat plane, and that we got it abandoned. For Ooh. Seven years. I like these we, stories. We pulled the Jimmy's World, bought it abandoned for seven years. Uh, I don't know if the content's live on our channel yet. If not, you get a little sneak peek. We only paid 16 grand. Hold on. Engines. Yes. Yeah. Sixteen thousand bucks. People That's think really planes good. are expensive. Was Where it two thousand and eight? Uh, yeah, Is it really? Two thousand and six. Factory built plane. Wow. So. And we got to take it over, taxi it over to the new parking spot for it. They finally got the permitting done, and we got to go down past all those really big expensive jets. So that's. That's fun, and I'm not gonna say, but they wanted an actual licensed pilot to do it, and uh, a certain guy hasn't got his pilot's license yet. I don't want to actually do it and hit that thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. You'd go right under that. A Zodiac CH 601 XL SLSA. Yeah, but that's a mouthful. I know. Right there. I know it is. Got the O200 Continental, 100 horsepower, runs great, good compressions. It came right back to life after a long hibernation. Fantastic, and you slide back canopy like a World it War II fighter. Up. Oh, it flips forward. Yeah, <gasps> check this out. Oh, how cool is that? Wow. Six foot six and I fit just fine. Which is kind of crazy to think. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it's Lancer esque where you sit the same height that the airplane is. You know, your basic stick in the middle, your red is stop, your black is that supposed to be your yeah oh, that's throttle. throttle yeah okay yeah. yeah throttle and your stop key radios yeah I mean it's, it's your got your basic stuff you get where you need to go pretty Simple. easy yeah, wow burn, burns five gallons an hour hundred knots at five gallons an hour there you go. Not bad. You know, not bad at all. All right, well, let's, uh, let's taxi this thing over and let's see how she fires up. Let's do it. Walking around this jewel. Simple. Simplicity. It's got spring for the uh, main landing gear there. It's like a Cessna. And that is uh, it has a rubber band on the top of it up here. That's how it gets its suspension. This is a wooden propeller. Doesn't look like it, but it says it right there. Cinetech, Cinecinch, however you pronounce that. Wooden propeller, cool design, nice. And what'd you say, 100 horsepower under the hood? Yeah, yep. 100 even. 100 even. And, 200. you know, there's your gas. 30 gallons of gas, five gallons an hour. You can go for a long time. Yeah. Even the engine alone, what we paid for this thing, yeah. Oh yeah, 16 grand, right? Yeah, it's yeah. only got 600 hours on the airframe and the engine. That's crazy. Total 600 time, hours on the uh, whole thing. A new, a new engine in 2006. How'd you find it? Uh, it was on an auction. I, I found it on Facebook, the link to the auction. All right. I found it 30 minutes before the bid was ending. <laughs> I, I just impulse bought it. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. Bid, bid, bid. Done. All right. We well, let's figure out how to get here because it was uh, well out of annual, and our friend Larry suggested that we should take the wings off it, throw it on a trailer, and move it over the road. And, and so that's what we did. And even a light sport. How do people transport planes? Because even this light sport, the uh, the track on the tires was too wide for our trailer. So we oh, were like, oh, interesting. I thought uh, they were kind of designed specifically for the track to be on the car trailer kind of if, thing. If we had a deck over the axles, it would have fit, ah. but our trailer is between the axles, and this is wider than uh, 80 whatever inches, and it was, it was a little sketchy. There you go. Well, we like sketchy. This is Jimmy's World. Speaking of sketchy, let's hop in this thing and get going. It's hot out here. Crap, it's like we're in the desert, and it's 100 degrees. We're gonna lower this a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to put the heater on. Yeah, it gets hot quick, as you know. Doesn't yeah, we'll we'll, we'll just leave it like that because if we latch it, we might not not ever get out. Okay. Yeah, just leave it resting. Right. It won't go anywhere. So taxi position, master switch on. Master on. And this is gonna be that. Retract flaps, flaps up. 
mixture is rich. Yeah. Uh, fuel pump on. He said you don't need to do that. You can just give it a couple pumps. So yep. we'll. Yeah, maybe one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, and yeah, just, just a crack. smidge. Yep. Just make sure the brakes work. Mm -hmm. Feel nice and solid. Should be and good. Everybody's Here we go. Favorite. My favorite part. Can I get a clear, clear prop? prop. Before you go to, there's a death row. Well, you know, Christian and Jeffrey, uh, JR guys, have their own, their own death row. And this is their projects that I don't. Some of them you said are not projects; they're done. They just don't have anywhere to put them. Yes, exactly. Some of these are kind of the, the most recent pickups. Yeah. And just haven't gotten around to them yet. Got, oh, here this. You had a rag stuck in that one right there. That's, yes. That's why. We took it for a little test drive and there's a uh, airbag crash impact sensor and we figured on the test drive if it wasn't properly secured it might blow the airbags or something so we tried to put some bubble wrap around it. Uh, we got the X5 here. This one's solid. This one's ready to... Old X5? Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. New owner. A red convertible Porsche, a little red Mini. Uh-huh. Come on. These great. This is what happened when we were planning on buying a car in, I mean a plane in Montana. And then it got sold, 
so we needed a way home because we took a one way there and so we bought this <laughs> Mini Cooper instead. What would you rather have, a Mini or a Cessna? Cessna. Probably. Fun, fun <laughs> Lots of boxers as you can see. That is fantastic. Manual car? No. Nope, no, okay. Automatic. But you got the it was still cheap. supercharged. It's a foldy roof. And it was cheap. This uh, boxer is perfectly good. We just need the rear body control module to make the wing go up and down, which is underneath the seat. And it also happens to control the electronic seat uh, motors, so we can't get the seat up Naturally. to get to the Sounds like a common issue. electronics yeah, below it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Stop putting electronics below electric seats, people. So anyway, we got to come up with something creative to get that one out. Fiat 500L is good to go. You can buy it for seven grand. It's only got like 60,000 miles on it. That'll make somebody happy. And come on down to Wayne's Auto <laughs> Mart. We'll put you right in. Got some pristine boxers here. We got the Porsches. We got the yep. the BMWs. And this the thing, our latest, latest purchase. And what is that? That's a crazy looking front end, right? Like I'm not it's sure cool if I. 2006. Yeah, it's. It's different. It's striking. <laughs> striking. That's a good word we'll use for it. You got the uh, the ML. ML65. And then the baby Lambo. V10 shoved into a little four door sedan. 5.2 liter V10. Okay, that thing's a pocket ride. A little fun thing it's to drive in. Power, yeah. Is oh. that the S4? Is that what? S, that? S6, S6 and S8 had the V10s. Ooh. So, yeah, people didn't know they made this car. Lamborghini sedan, in a way. <laughs> Okay, but this one's the one we got to revive today, so... Alright, so a little, little, little dusty. Yeah, it's been abandoned since 2019, over oh. four years. <laughs> yeah, it's Don't like, go taking a big whiff into that window, by the way. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like those old planes, you know? They have a little smell to them. Oh, that is it unlocked? Let's see. No, it's, it Wait. showed up off the truck. Oh, and it's got battery life. Oh, it's got battery life. Yes. Ooh, oh, it's got tray tables in the back. That's executive level. Oh, so First a, class. Comes uh, pre preloaded with, with, you know, mold. I'm assuming. Oh, is that what that is? Sure, that's not dirt. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not hmm. sitting in that though. What could possibly go? Wrong? Take a big. Oh yeah, breathe it in. Let it get down into your lungs. God. Yeah. <laughs> big old. Where'd this come from? Texas. Okay. Oh, but I think you used to be right on the water. Yeah, so there you go. So, have you guys, Boy. did you get it from an auction? Yep. Yep. Wow. Donated vehicle. Who would donate this beauty? I don't know, but I finally got some readers. <laughs> oh my gosh, he left his glasses in there. Oh, man. <laughs> they work. I wonder if I can. I'm getting to the age where I actually need readers. <laughs> I hate to, to say, but these, these actually work, and I'm a little embarrassed. Hey, Look at that, I'm, I'm embarrassed time. about that. <laughs> Look, I don't even need to play the accordion. If I do it right here, right there, that's clear. Go here. All right, wow. I, know. I, don't, yeah. I don't like that that's clear and that worked. Wait a second, Jeremy. This Maserati has the single clutch transmission? Yeah, that will, that, that's not a good transmission, oh, uh, for those of you gosh. wondering. And it's, it's a, broken also. It's supposed to have a little T-handle. Yeah, what? So, How are we going to get into reverse? That's what does these cars in. It has it so has a clutch. The thing? Yeah, but you got to pull it up and back for reverse. Oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, yeah, you got it. No problem. Okay. No problem. So. Oh, hey, you guys are paying off already. Look at that. Collector coin. Oh, what is here? We've got some collector. Is that a pound sterling? I think there's something yeah, weird the in heck? there. What is that? It's a Great Britain pound. It's got Queen Elizabeth on it. That's a collector's item now. What year? Hmm. 19. I'm going to need to get my reading. Yeah, where are the Here, readers? hold on. Let me get my readers. Hold on. I think it should be on the front somewhere. Uh, other side. Uh, oh, there you go. 1986. I can't even see that. See? These are glaring. These are working. <laughs> That's really sad. I hate that this works. <laughs> And there's, there's a bunch more. Well, a pound is worth oh, a pound is worth a buck twenty now. Plus that buck fifty. Okay, and we're then, like two to. What's with all the pens? Is yeah, that what that 20, is? Twenty p. Because they're in a Maserati. They were like from British or this something. This is Italian. But the people driving it. I guess. Britain. They were yeah from. Uh, 
So this is now the... Oh wait, there's this. What is this? What is that thing? 2014 oh, or something? Oh, it's just a regular quarter. This is now the $2,996.75 Maserati. Nice! Take it. Yeah. Oh, wait! You got some teeth cleaners? I dare you to use one. Oh, gosh. 5,000 likes. I'll use that. Yeah, we could, yeah. Five, I'll put the 5,000 likes in uh, 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 Hey! What? You guys are getting cash money out of this thing. What? What? Here, cover, cover up the year. I'll tell you what year it's from, okay? It's to the bottom right of the portrait. You might need your readers again. Here, camera's got the year. Okay, don't show me. Cover it up with your finger and show me the rest of the bill. And I'll tell you what year it's from. Ooh. Give it the paper feel. Sniff and test, sniff it. Sniff test. It's 2009. You're a psycho. Why do you know that? Got a smell to it. Different years have different smells, textures. This colors. car's got a smell to it, man. That's, this thing smells like mold. I know, I was like, how did you stick your nose to the mold thing? Yep. Here, what else? Hey, hold on, don't go. St I want to find There's out what like else. There's like a, a treasure box over there. Oh, Why would wow. They, why would they not take this stuff? They I don't know, but I am loaded up on readers. <laughs> Dude. Oh, no. Check this out! Oh my gosh! This is what happens when you just forget glasses and you just stop by oh Walgreens and buy God. another set. Are these, uh... <laughs> Trifocals. Yes, Christian, he's got triple vision. <laughs> Trifocals. <laughs> See, that's for close up. That one's for far away, and that one's for when I want to scowl at you. When I got it there. Eight eyes. <laughs> Transmission yeah. lever. But in order for you to do that, you have to take this Benadryl chewable. Oh, that's 10,000 likes right there. Ugh. It's an antihistamine in case you didn't know that. Wait, expires 11 of 2008. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Medicine from 2008. And that's why this thing has such low miles. This thing was never driven. Stuck in time. Well, because she couldn't find her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I know I put them here somewhere. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Got everything in here. Look in the glove box. What is this? Hey, do you guys know about this? What are you doing in there? No, come here. No, this thing just came off the truck. I have not been inside of here. Come here, Silas, get in here. Look at that little lever right there. What, eject? Oh. <laughs> what? No, can you see that? Coffee? On, off. Is this a heated deal in here? Oh yeah, it just moved some <gasps> vents over oh, here. Oh yeah, look at that! Right Cli there. Climb it. Dude! What? <laughs> and it seals here to keep it all like... That is fancy. Okay, that's, that's hardcore fancy. Here, we haven't even opened the glove box. Hey, is there a glove box? Open. Battery. Oh, okay, it's in there. Ready, open, says me. Oh my gosh. Look at all those. Uh, come on, please be a multimedia system for Especially South Central Kia. USA. Houston pocket map. Okay, so it is from Houston. Any service records? A map? Map, ID. registration. Here we go. Oh, we got can't show their yeah, name. Don't, don't show that. Or that. Well, we got maps. Okay, so they're probably uh, maps of the previous generation that doesn't use an iPhone to get hey, around. Hey, whoa, there, young whippersnapper. <laughs> Careful who you're talking to. I've never used a map in my life. So Are I you don't... serious? No. So give me your phone, and if I said you have to go to Houston, you'd look at this and not have any idea what to do with it. What? You had to do that? What is that? That's just for Houston? <sighs> Kids, How do you so do huge. Dallas? You gotta rebuy Dallas? Well, you see, you take uh, Route 45 here, and you, you head north. Yeah. Across. Well, the only, only old Miller farm Can't is gone it. now. Can't there's there's the oak tree that fell yeah. down. They, uh, boy, that tornado that came by there in, uh, when was that? 81. Yeah, it could have been yeah. about 81. I remember that was the winter that uh, we had that mare out back. Boy, she had a, she had a hard time that one. But uh, yeah, she tasted good in the spring. <laughs>
take us out they they would just give everybody an iPhone and then just turn it off and then nobody would know how to get anywhere no one know how to be yeah. in trouble all right and apparently take all the prescription reading glasses <laughs> with them it does oh, concern dude. me there's so many white They're powdery pretty... dots on this one oh. that I've been putting on my face a lot yeah I'm sure that's fair not good that's that's fine, no. that's fine. all right well, well, we're trying to get this thing going oh. do you know what this is well, that's the rare dish two dish kit. Is this wait? One? There's a note. Is this an eight track tape or whatever they call Shut it? Up. Now you're just being pedantic. What? Pop a car by Izzy, baby. I will wait. The cave white blank page. Oh, come on. Who are these people? Who I don't know. Machine? By Mumford and Sons, the neighborhood, Brooke Frazier. Who's Mumford and Sons? The Two Door Cinema Club. I have never heard of any of these. That's definitely female handwriting, so I guess a girl on this. Dude, you gotta turn this thing on. We gotta see if the music if it plays. I think we're on a roll. I All think right. this thing's gonna fire up. Here, yeah, will it start? Do we wanna put this in first? Let's get this thing running. That's coming up next. Alright. Okay, hang on. I gotta do my vlog. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm almost 100% confident this purchase will uh, Now he's now he's now he's talking about my plane. Will the $2,900 abandoned Maserati start in three, two, one? What? Yes. <laughs> Not even smoking or anything. Hey, and that only took how many turns of the prop? Oh, like two cranks. Oh, that's what we did. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Clear prop. Clear prop. Oh, it does seem And that's still the same gas that's in here, probably from like oh, five gosh. years ago. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Gas is like five years old. Good point. Okay. Wow. Uh, they're getting ready to do some work on this thing and magically, oh look at the time, Jimmy's got to go. <laughs> oh, I timed that. Perfect. Uh, no, this that, that's cool. It was awesome to hang out with you guys for the day. We're still working on some trades. So I, we don't know if we're settled on anything yet, but you know, hey, something from Germany, Italy, mm -hmm. perhaps, maybe. Italy? Italy. You don't want the no, no, Maserati? Okay, not, not this Italy, the <laughs> good part of Italy on the other side of the track. Right. Uh, but this, I mean, this is right up my alley. We couldn't figure out, so we found a CD in there, disc two, and we couldn't find the radio code because the battery thing, and still can't Aww. find it. But if you guys find it, you gotta find out what's on disc two. To <laughs> that the, if it actually works, that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we'll get cleaned up in no time. It'll be looking good. And you'll good. see that uh, on their channel, JR Garage, and then their airplane stuff, JR Aviation. I'll put a link down in the description to do so you guys check cool. them out if you don't already know about them. Because they also go around and find some really interesting, kind of questionable airplanes as well. We're always, we're always that's racing. That's why I like these guys. <laughs> we're always racing to the airplane deal, trying to beat each other to Wait, it. That's right, because there was one. Yes. I go well, bidding I on something. I don't remember what that was. Yeah, yeah, we call you and you're like, no, I'm bidding. And we're like, no, we're bidding. <laughs> yeah, we're they're... like, well, shoot. Wait, I already had that airplane. Oh, yeah. oh I've already bid on it. Like, what yeah. do you have? It's so funny. We're always trying funny. to get the next yeah. hoopty airplane. It was an auction. It was a jet on auction somewhere. Yep. Yep. And I have MU2. That's yeah. what it was, the MU2 yeah. from the school. The, the $20,000 MU2. Yes, like, that's right. Doesn't... Which that video is never, we never, either one of us had never put out because clearly neither one of us ever actually bought it. <laughs> yeah, but 20 grand. Didn't it only have like a thousand hours or something? Yeah. No, it was a, Low it was time. a school plane. It was yeah. from a mechanic school. Yeah, a basket plane. case. Yeah. yeah. So they had a bunch of people that had no idea what they were doing working on it. So then you'd have to go and undo all of their thing. It was, that was a massive, Nightmare. just, yeah. Just, no. Yep. Not, not that. But yeah, thanks for coming by. Glad you made it. Now we got to come visit you.